What's good, Josh Boy Ross? Back at again with another video. So I just finished the uh, SmackDown live stream reaction. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the SmackDown live stream. Uh, you guys are always amazing. You make the shows that much better. Uh, unfortunately, Dub wasn't able to join us. I believe he was uh, busy um, with his uh, uh, his son's football practice. Isaiah, uh, I think their first game is uh this saturday so i think he was busy with that and you know, other family related stuff so i held down the fort for you guys um but really nothing really noticeable happened on this show um la night getting a win over um over uh, austin theory was nice and uh apparently they're supposed to be having la night versus the miz rematch on next week's smackdown so that should be interesting but not too much really happened um during the show i think uh at some point um what is her name uh oscar versus eo they're starting to set that up i believe she's supposed to have oscar's supposed to have a, a a match against eo for the women's championship uh in two weeks i believe they said so certain matches are being set up and in, in, in placed but the most probably most noticeable thing is the whole jimmy uso storyline and what they got going on for jimmy uso so i had to talk about this because it's gotten even more confusing than it was last week so apparently now we have a situation where jimmy is uh quote unquote trying to get back into the bloodline's good graces he uh sees paul Heyman in the back and he has the we the one shirt on he is put back on the we the one shirt he went back into his closet and said you know what i gotta dust this off gotta iron this and put this shirt back on because i'm trying to get back into the bloodline so paul Heyman is kind of like he hears what jimmy is saying but he's not really like listening to it like it's one of those like i hear you but i don't know if that's gonna work out because uh jimmy made the point that solo was like hey hey man uh you know he said i'm not out the bloodline until y'all say i'm out well i guess i'm still in the bloodline right and paul's like i mean you win but you ain't in in you know i we gotta talk to roman or whatever and we gotta we gotta handle that and whatnot and basically uh jimmy's like you know what that's fine i'm gonna handle the aj Styles situation or whatnot and paul him is like hey if you can handle that situation you know we can we i i can see what i can do and you know try to get this family back together or whatnot so that's how that happened and then uh aj styles is uh interrupted by paul Heyman because jimmy walks off aj styles interrupted by paul Heyman, uh basically telling aj you shouldn't be getting in bloodline business and then aj starts getting in paul Heyman's face like you know what i'm sick of you yeah i'm sick of y'all bloodline individuals and that's when jimmy comes back out attacks uh aj styles and and pretty much pretty much saves paul Heyman or whatnot and he's like yeah man i got your back Yeet. and all this other stuff i'm like oh man i they they in my opinion they've kind of messed up jimmy's character in my opinion and just just the thought of him now groveling and pretty much not begging but kind of like yeah man let me back in after all the stuff he's done and after him saying that he didn't want to come back into the bloodline to now want to come back to be a part of the bloodline it's it's kind of it makes everything that we saw these past few months with him being the one initiating the breakup of the bloodline in a sense all that means really nothing when you think about it if this was going to be the plan that they wanted to go with or whatnot so it's it's really it's quite quite confusing what they've done to his character because it just from a, a character standpoint it doesn't make sense now that he wants to really be a part of the bloodline now that he doesn't have his brother he's by himself well i ain't got nowhere else to go it's like they could have did something they could have took another route i know some people are saying oh he's only doing this to get close to solo to get solo to turn on his uh on roman i think you could have did that another way 
I honestly would have preferred if they had Rikishi get involved because it just makes sense their father getting involved. Have him be involved. Have Jimmy say, I have none, I don't want nothing to do with the bloodline. Have Solo being loyal to still to Roman and then have Rikishi try to get involved to talk some common sense into his boys. I think that would have been a better way to do that story if you're going to then have Jimmy quote unquote try to get back into the good graces of Roman only to then be like you know what this was all a ruse i'm here to get my brother to snap out of it like this you can have him doing that even without him joining back the bloodline so um there was a a segment between la knight and paul Heyman. i definitely did enjoy that the little tension there la Knight pretty much interrupted paul Heyman and adam pierce and the conversation Adam Pierce and Paul Heyman was having was very interesting because Paul Heyman wanted to know who did you trade to come to SmackDown? I think it's kind of telling in there. They're building up to it, but I do believe Cody is the guy that they've traded for Jay to go to Raw and Cody to come to SmackDown because there's a reason why Paul Heyman's asking that question. So it's very interesting. They're, they're really doing a, a slow little tease with that. But I did like LA Knights and... Uh, Paul Heyman's interaction or whatnot and you know Paul Heyman trying to push his weight but LA and I just kept it very simple they didn't do too much he just let it be known like yeah I got you I hear you you know so I like that didn't do too much just enough um and ultimately the main event was kind of weird uh Solo ended up coming out there with Paul Heyman as they're watching Jimmy and AJ Styles have their match AJ Styles told his his OC brethren and sister <laughs> to stay in the back since they are out there watching fucking videos on their phone and and not having AJ Styles back. He's like, you know what? Just stay back here. I'm gonna handle this Jimmy situation all by myself. You knew there was gonna be some shenanigans. I didn't think Jimmy's gonna lose, uh, but he ended up losing to AJ Styles or whatnot. And of course, Solo gets involved, but AJ gets out the ring in the nick of time, or so we thought, because. Uh, Damian Priest and Finn Balor come out there, attack AJ Styles, throws him into the ring as an offering, a peace offering, and uh, Solo uh, spikes, uh, hit uh, AJ Styles with another Samoan spike. So I don't know what they're doing with the Judgment Day, even though earlier that night they were talking about, they, they literally sent shots. Damian Priest literally sent shots at Roman saying, we done something that Roman couldn't do, the Bloodline couldn't do, and that's win the undisputed tag team titles to now be to offer up a peace offering to solo that was very interesting because you just disrespected them you've been saying y'all are the best faction in wwe the bloodline is no more we're the best faction and now you're trying to be nice to said faction very interesting very interesting see what they're doing with that I also did like uh, a highlight for me of the show i wanted to mention this for uh in this video Street Profits and uh, Bobby Lashley pretty much confronting the Judgment Day in the middle of the ring. That was a beautiful, beautiful moment. Bobby Lashley made it simple. You're right. The bloodline is crumbling. But we, we, we're taking over. And I like that. No physical contact. Just them all suited and booted in the ring. Letting Judgment Day know. Nah, we taking all the gold. I like that. That was a, a, a highlight moment for me uh, for the show. And LA Knight and uh, Austin Derry was enjoyable as well. The crowd went crazy for LA Knight's promo and, and everything he did. He's just super mega over. So, honestly, I don't know what they're doing with Jimmy. It's quite confusing. I know people are saying just wait for it to play out. That's fine and well. But it's always good to have a story that makes sense while it's playing out. You may not have the answers all at once, but if the story is somewhat cohesive and it makes sense and it's engaging, I'm all for it. This, to me, it just feels like a character assassination, and I hope they do something with Jimmy to kind of reverse this. And I, I, I do think they will um, later down the line, but right now, his motivations legitimately make no sense so comment down below let me know how y'all feel about what they're doing with jimmy right now me personally I, I i'm not a big fan of it i think they they kind of written themselves into a a, a a hole 
essentially you know or written themselves into a dead end if you want to say with jimmy obviously they can fix this and, and rectify it most likely when roman gets back but as of right now for this to be a filler story it's, it's it's not it's not really landing right now so we'll see how things go going forward but let me know how y'all feel about the whole jimmy bloodline storyline and where y'all think it's gonna go but i appreciate all the love and support bro to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all on the next one peace